from Evelyn Ashford in the 100 meters and 200 meters to Castor Semenya in the 800 meters, Barbara Spatakova in the javelin throw, and Valerie Adams in the shot put. These are some of the most dominant athletes in the history of track and field, having won multiple gold medals, broken world records, and consistently being ranked number one in their events year after year. But what about those behind them? There are tons of athletes who get left in the shadow, earning silver medals at the Olympics or finishing second place to a world record, but they can still be considered legends in their own right. We are going to take a look at some athletes who won multiple world and Olympic medals, put down some of the best marks in the history of the sport, but may not have gotten the recognition like some of the greats in track and field that we all know. So let's take a look at some of the greatest athletes in the sport of track and field who were overshadowed through their careers. Let's start off with Merlene Odie, a legend out of Jamaica who is the definition of longevity in the sport. Her her career spans over 30 years from 1979 all the way to 2012, and she earned a plethora of accolades during that time. That included medals at five Olympic Games and six World Championships. She won three Olympic 100 meter dash medals, something only her and Shelly Ann Fraser Price, also from Jamaica, have ever done, as well as four Olympic 200 meter medals, something no other woman in history has ever achieved. She also has four World Championship medals at 100 meters, only matched by Shelly Ann Fraser Price and Carmelita Jeter, as well as four World Championship 200 meter medals, which Allison Felix and Veronica Campbell Brown have also achieved. That also includes back to back 200 meter goals at the 1993 and 1995 World Championships. Odie was also very accomplished indoors, winning seven championship medals, including two golds at the 200 meters and a 60 meter gold. She also owns the 200 meter world indoor record at 21.87 seconds, making her the the only woman to ever break the 22 second barrier indoors. In addition to all of her medals, she has a personal best of 10.74 seconds at the 100 meter dash. That was the second fastest run in history back in 1996 and still stands at number seven all time to this day. While in the 200 meters, she ran 21.64 seconds back in 1991, which ranked her number two all time and currently still sits as the fourth fastest time in history. She has also broken 11 seconds in the 100 meters 68 times and ran sub 22 seconds in the 200 meters 16 times, both more than any other woman in the history of either event. So why was she overshadowed? Odie unfortunately never won a single gold medal at the Olympic Games, double silver in 1996 in Atlanta, then five bronze medals in 1980, 1984, 1992, and 2000. At the World Championships, aside from her two individual gold medals in 1993 and 1995, Individually, she won three silver and five bronze world championship medals through her career. Despite all the shortcomings though, Merlene Odie is known as one of the queens of sprinting for a reason and will without question go down as a legend, not only in sprinting but in the sport of track and field as a whole. Moving up to the 800 meters, we have Janet Zipkosgai from Kenya. She jumped onto the scene as a junior in 2002, winning the World Junior Champs that year, then four years later winning the 2006 Commonwealth Games at 800 meters. But it was 2007 at her first ever world championships when she won a gold medal in the 800 meters in Osaka. She would go on to win an Olympic medal in Beijing 2008 and two more world championship medals in Berlin 2009 and Daegu 2011. Her personal best of 156.04 seconds set in Osaka was number 24 all time back in 2007 and still sits in the top 30 at number 29 all time to this day. She also had world rankings in nine consecutive seasons, including number one rankings in 2007 and 2010. So why was she overshadowed? After her gold in 2007, Jeff Kosgai's next three medals were all silver behind other amazing ladies. 2008, she finished behind Pamela Jalimo at those Beijing Olympics. Then in both 2009 and 2011, she would earn double silver behind Caster Semenya, just as Semenya was making her rise in the sport of track and field. So she still was one of the greatest in her era, but just slightly overshadowed by ladies ahead of her. That doesn't diminish the amazing accomplishments Jeb Kosgai achieved throughout her career. Heading over to the field events, we have Christina Oberfall from Germany. In the javelin throw, Oberfall is a two-time Olympic medalist from Beijing 2008 and London 2012, as well as a four-time world championship medalist in 2005, 2007, 2011, and capped things off with a gold medal at the 2013 World Championships in Moscow. Her personal best of 70.20 meters was originally the second best throw in history
history back in 2007 and still currently ranks her as number four all time to this day. She has also thrown over 69 meters on four other occasions and has world ranked 11 times in the event, including number one rankings in 2011 and 2013. So why was she overshadowed? Oberk Fall unfortunately got second place at both the 2008 and 2012 Olympic Games, winning silver medals behind Barbara Spatakova on both occasions. She also got two silvers in 2005, 2007, and a bronze medal in 2011 at the World Championships. So she missed out on the gold medal five times through her career. At those 2005 World Championships, she finished second place to the world record set by Menendez from Cuba, then again finished second place in 2008 when Spadakova broke the world record at the 2008 World Athletics Final. But her performances through her 15 plus year career proved that Oberk Falls should easily be mentioned as one of the best javelin throwers in the history of the event. Keeping it in the throws, we have Nadine Kleinart from Germany, another woman that defines longevity in the sport of track and field. She world ranked in the shot put 15 seasons between 1997 and 2015. During that time, Kleinart earned six Olympic and World Championship outdoor medals, which has only been bettered by Valerie Adams and Li Xiao Gong, who have both won eight outdoor medals each in the shot put. Kleinart also has three indoor world medals from 2004, 2006, and 2010. Her personal best of 20.20 meters from 2009 puts her in a select group of just 33 women who have ever thrown over the 20 meter barrier in the shot put. So why was she overshadowed? Kleiner unfortunately never won a single Olympic or World Championship gold medal in her career. She has an Olympic silver from 2004, four World Championship silvers from 1999, 2001, 2007, and 2009, as well as a bronze medal from 2005. So she was always on the cusp of that number one spot throughout her entire career. But regardless, Kleinert has displayed consistency and longevity that only a few other ladies have ever been able to match not only in the shot put, but in the entire sport of track and field. Finally, we'll end things off with the Greek discus thrower Anastasia Kalisadou. Kalisadou is a two-time Olympic medalist from Sydney 2000 and Athens 2004, as well as a three-time world championship medalist from Seville 1999, Edmonton 2001, and Paris 2003. Her personal best of 67.70 meters puts her in a group of just under 40 women to have ever surpassed the 67 meter barrier in the discus throw. She is also world ranked seven times through her career from 1997 all the way to 2004. So why was she overshadowed? As with some of the other ladies, Kalisa Du unfortunately never won a single gold medal at any major championships through her career. Two back-to-back -back Olympic silvers in Sydney 2000 and Athens 2004, as well as two silver medals in 1999, 2003, and a bronze medal in 2001. But don't let the lack of gold medals downplay the consistency that Kalisa Du displayed, cementing herself as one of the greatest in her era of discus throwing. So those are just some of the athletes that had amazing careers yet have been overshadowed by some other greats ahead of them. This is only part two, so make sure you guys check out the last video where I gave five other athletes that have been overshadowed throughout their careers and go in the comments below and let me know some other athletes, both male and female, who might have been overshadowed during their careers in track and field. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.